Skype, the old Skyper Rooney. We have got John back with us here on our program. And uh, we, we've got everything we, we needed to get taken care of, and we've got it taken care of. And so now we are back live and direct with uh, Jordan Wright. He is going to be part of Exotica Chicago coming up. And uh, he is yes, sir. he is a mate, sir. Who walked in behind me? Uh, he is <laughs> he is amazing. And uh, thanks for making some time for us and being on the big program with us today. So, how in the world did you start doing all this porn stuff, man? Ah, uh, man. So it started out when I was in college, actually. Uh, pretty much what happened was I I was on my uh, Instagram. And like this dude came out of nowhere, was like, "Yo, uh, can I can I curse on here?" Yeah, say whatever the hell you want. Okay. The show's called "Fucking <laughs> Around with Porn Stars." We pretty much can say whatever the hell we want here. <laughs> okay, so this dude comes out of nowhere from left field and goes like, "Yo, dude, you look you're you're a good looking guy. Come fuck my wife." And I'm like, "All right, this has got to be one of my friends trolling." So. I'm like, well, he sends me photos of his wife. I was like, all right, not bad. Let me, you know, I'm, I'm in, I'm in, they're in my town. So I, they're like, in my sure town. I go real. <laughs> so I make sure it's real. And um, I meet at like a local grocery store. And sure enough, she was real. He was like, look, just take photos of her while you, while you fuck her and send her back to me. I was like, sure. So I ended up fucking her in my dorm room. <laughs> and then next thing they start asking for videos. And then I'm like, wait a minute. They're getting off on me. So I was like, you know what? Let me do this on my own. So then I like start making my own videos and stuff with local people around me. And then I started reaching out to the certain porn stars. And next thing you know, here I am. I'll tell you, that is that is the way to do it, man. I, I will have to say, yeah. I have I have uh you know, after the last I don't know, two two or three years I've had various Various people that I've known in porn say, "Jiggy, we need you to get, we need to, we need you to get into porn." And I'm like, "Well, first of all, I don't really know if the world is ready for Jiggy Jag porn, but uh, that's kind of what I've been doing. I, I I met all these local freaks on Fat Life. We've been making all sorts of okay. videos. They, I'll, I'll tell you, Fat they're Life. out there, brother. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are it's, out there. There's a lot." <laughs> And it spreads easily, just like the legs, right? It spreads so easily. It's like next thing you know, they just start coming in waves, and, and that's just how it happened. Man. I was, I had a, uh, we interviewed a porn chick uh, on this show a couple months ago, and she was talking about swingers, and she said once people find out you're in the swinging lifestyle, they'll come out of the woodwork. They'll be like, "Oh, you're a swinger." Mm. <laughs> and I've noticed that <laughs> like, about hey. about porn is that. They come yeah. out of nowhere, brother. It's just like, they do. you know, what, what is what is terribly uncomfortable? Well, it wasn't really uncomfortable for me. It was just kind of a weird <laughs> thing. But uh, I posted something on, on Fet Life fairly recently okay. about trying to get some people to film with me and my significant other, the lovely and talented Britannia. And a guy that I knew from high school sends me a message. And I'm like, oh my, hmm, this is strange. <laughs> yeah, interesting. This is interesting. I'm like, oh, really? I don't think he connected the two, which is strange because yeah, yeah. I was jiggy jag in high school. I'm jiggy jag still, but yeah, whatever. It's the same, same, same person. What, whatever. <laughs> so you have got some incredible stuff. Just going through your Twitter. Thank you, thank you. If you look at his Twitter, which by the way, you need to go over. And check out Jordan's Twitter. Uh, it is, it is as they say, worth the price of admission. Uh, it is, <laughs> it's it, free, it, it, and it's free, which is even better. Uh, you know, pe people, people love it. Um, Jordan Wright with us today, and you can find him on the Twitter machine, Jordan underscore Wright X, and he joins us today. Because of course, X going to give it to you, and apparently you do. That's right. According to this Twitter, <laughs> holy smokes, you do. Oh man, my God, uh, it, it's it, it's like 
Holy smokes. So what is the um one of the things that I have I have realized with when I started doing the uh we started doing Jiggy Jag You froze there, Jiggy. Am I still with you? Am I still here? Can you hear me? Can you see me? Yeah, I missed your question. No, 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 yeah, no, no. no. I was, I was rambling. I was getting to a point there. That, that, that's what I do oh, a lot on the show. I just ramble. <laughs> but one of the things when we did Jiggy Jag TV back in the day was we interviewed every single damn band I could get my hands on. Is that the key in porn is to just pile up the content? Is that the key? Is, is that kind of how you got? going with all this so for someone that's newer um i don't want to give too much game because you gotta sometimes well yeah charge them, but, yeah but i mean what, what what's um, worked for you so for me it's not really about the quantity and i was actually telling a friend this today before i got on, on here with you it's not about the quantity it's about the quality because like and this is going to sound kind of shallow but it's like once you start continuing to grow you got to start, you know, upping your game. Like, you can't be the same person last year that you were. And I've only been in the game for a year. So, for me, it's about, like, how do you grow? And that means getting with the right people, right people for your platform. And everyone has a, you know, a niche, right? And mine's yeah. is it's pretty obvious, you know. Uh, older older MILFs, it just works, right? But with the, with when it comes to the content, you want to get a good amount. But you don't want to oversaturate it by just, you know, fucking everybody. Because then it's like... You, you don't want to fuck everybody. everybody. <laughs> yeah, because, like, think about it, man. <laughs> if, you, if you're if you sitting around, like, hooking up with the same person that that person can get, then it's like, you don't feel that much... You're just too accessible. Yes. So it's like, why would I want to be that guy that, oh, yeah, you know, uh, Peggy to Peg Lake can hit, hook up with. At the same time, I can hook up with the best, you know, porn star in the game. Or something like that. So it's no shade to Peggy to play the the peg leg, but at the same time, you gotta have something that you can grow off of. So like you want to build the content at the beginning, but then you want to start you know figuring out what your niche is and and kind of give a ratio. You know what I mean? I think that's awesome. So talk to me a little bit about your camera angles, because some of some of your porn is the the way you shoot it is. You know, as as a TV guy, that's what yeah. I instantly see when I look at, besides you banging all these hot chicks, but the thing is, <laughs> the camera angles, is there some reason why you have this set up a certain way, or are you just fucking around and all of a sudden you're like, hey, that worked? <laughs> both, man. It's really both. It's really both <laughs> because, you know... I mean, I, ha I have a background when it comes to the video stuff, so I know how things kind of work. Uh, but at the same time, I, I listen to my fans. My fans really give me certain things that they like. They, they Sometimes they like the angle when they can see my ass, you know, hitting them from missionary, They're depending on what they like. Uh, and I like, to, I like to mess around different angles. Like when I was uh, in Atlanta, I did an angle where I had like an over-the-shoulder shot. And, you know, that's just something that I always wanted to do, and I haven't done it yet on my own so i just set up the camera put the tripod up sit down on the couch and the girl's just like stroking me over and over the and it looked amazing and i haven't even put that scene out yet so for me it's, you know trial and error and see what works what doesn't and then go from there but then it's like i know what what sells very well and what people like and you got to go by the strengths of what you got and what the girl got that's awesome we have got a great guest with us today jordan wright joins us here on our big program and he is absolutely amazing and uh, you can find him on the Twitter machine, Jordan underscore right X. And uh, he is making it happen. So wh where do you primarily post your content? Or are you one of these people that the web is just lousy with your content? <laughs> Man, I try to keep my stuff um, pretty much the same places. I'm working on my own website pretty soon. Um, I'm setting up a fetish series. Um, and I'm also working on just everything I can put together on that one site. Uh, but you can pretty much find me on mini vids, only fans. Um, I, I have an X videos that I'm putting, you know, certain things on there now. So it, I'm all over, man. Um, you, you, you can easily get me, you can easily find me accessible. So it's not hard to find it. That's awesome. That's awesome. So what, what are some of your plans for exotica? What, what, what do you have, uh, 
what do you have going out there? Man, you know, I, when I was talking to you, I was trying to, I was trying to lay low, to be honest with you, because <laughs> last Exotica was my first one, and I think I shot the most scenes probably to anyone there. I shot fourteen scenes in like three days. Wow. Um, yeah, I don't know how my my dick still worked after that, to be honest with you. <laughs> um, <laughs> it was it was a That's lot amazing. of fucking. Um, but this time is I got I got more paid scenes that I'm excited to shoot for, um, and and I got invited to an orgy. Um, I got a couple people that like I don't know what's going. I I know I got I'm, I'm scheduled for like nine scenes I think. Um, but you know when it comes to the exotic, because people come and go, a lot of things like don't go. Like you, someone say like I, that's why I never try to commit unless it's like a paid scene. Because yeah. it's like people come, like just do so many different things. Like one minute you're like, oh yeah, can we shoot at five p.m.? And then I'm like, oh yeah, I can't do five. Can we do seven? Well, no, I already have something set up for seven. Like it's over now, right? So it's like I try to just tell anyone that wants to shoot. I mean, like, hey, this is gonna be a tentative time, but if something has to change, you know, you, there's certain things that go precedent first. So I got to yes. make sure that the pay things go first before I can do something because it's like. I, there's always going to be trade. There's always going to be opportunity for trade. So it's like you don't have to like make sure you get all your trades in at Exotica. You should want to get your paid and, and network at the end of the day and, and to go from there. So for me, it's just really try to get my scenes in, do the paid scenes, do the good pro, um, production work, and you know show that I can do this you know, and go from there. I don't want to do too much and, and overexert myself, but – Sometimes it's hard to say no. When there's, like this, <laughs> when, there's, when there's this beautiful woman looking right at you, like, oh my gosh, Jordan, I want to shoot with you. I'm like, ah, uh, okay, I can squeeze you in between. <laughs> I can squeeze like, you in. It, it's, it's crazy, man. It's crazy. I love it. I love it. We have got a great guest with us today. Thank you, froze again on me, G. I think, am, am I still there? Yeah, you're back. Okay. You're back. You're Jordan, back. You're Jordan back. Wright with us today. He joins us live here on our big program. He is amazing. And he joins us live here on our big program. And uh Jordan, so what what is what is your plans uh after Exotica? What do you have coming up? So after Exotica is um I believe X business. I'll be down in Miami. Um, so my plan is, is, is Exotica in April, take a break. Well, actually a, a, a chick just hit me up, so I don't think I'm taking a break. I lied. Um, so I got some girl coming to my city and, um, we'll be shooting. And then May will be, uh, where's, what's happening in May? Oh uh, yeah, X-Biz in Miami. And then from Miami, I'm going to Phoenix. And then from Phoenix, I'm going to Vegas. Um, and then after that will we'll be, yeah, I'll, I'll probably be good till June. Um, I'm probably chilling. I'm probably chilling. I need to recover. I feel <laughs> like I, I'm tired, man. I, I'm so tired. It's like, like you never thought that being an adult, that your problem would be too much pussy coming at you. And <laughs> it's like, that is awesome. <laughs> it, it's one of those things where you're sitting there like, damn, this is actually a problem. You got people wanting to fly. I have, I have I have women that want to fly me out, want me to fly them in, and it's just like, all right, please, like, let me breathe for a second. And and it's hard to say no. How, like when someone just does this, and how do you say no to that, right? Yeah, that is amazing. We have got the fantastic Jordan Wright with us today. He is amazing. He is making things happen. Uh, just fantastic stuff. So, where do you see yourself in a couple of years? Whew, that's a tough one, Jiggy. So, for me, hopefully in a different role, honestly. I don't want to do this forever. Um, but I want to I basically come in and take advantage of everything I can and, and, and learn from it. And um, pretty much just, just continue to grow. So, I would say in a couple of years, I want to be able to do more behind the camera, uh, do more production. And, and sell my merchandise. I want to make sure that we can sell my merchandise, Scumbag University. Uh, it's a really cool thing that we're working on over here. So I want to make sure that that grows to, like, like huge. Like, I want that to be, like, one of the next big things. And we got some we got some beautiful models. 
And I just want to see that flourish and, and grow. So that's something I'll probably be like kind of focusing on more. Um, it's a really cool brand and, and we're always looking for models. So it's always a great thing to have. So that's something that I'll probably want to just see take over and, and go from there. I think that's awesome. I think it's great that you, you, you started out with, <laughs> with somebody just saying, Hey, come buck my wife. Yeah, dude, it's, that's literally how it went down. And then it just triggered because then more husbands started. I guess even word of mouth was like, dude, this guy. Word great. of mouth. Yeah, that's great. Yeah. Like, dude, like she, he fucks good. And I'm like, oh, great. <laughs> cool. I'll, 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 I'll fuck more. And, you know, just, I'll you know, fuck wise, more. And they just pop up, man. That and is amazing. Like, it, I think the craziest probably was when a friend that I played on a basketball team with like years later, his mom, like I fucked his mom. Yeah. That'll probably be the craziest wow. thing. Wow. Yeah. Well, we weren't friends after that anymore because you know, <laughs> we weren't friends after that anymore. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I, I fucked the shit out of his mom. So that is amazing. Well, you have been fantastic and, and an idea that we were going to try to get together what with Jordan at one point, which. I got sick, and then we had all these problems because, of course, oh, yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. springtime, and that's usually what happens. Is when, when I usually get a really bad cold when it turns from mm. fall to winter or mm -hmm. spring from winter to spring. I don't know yeah, what the yeah. hell is that's all about, but it usually happens. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. But um, we are going to do an interview sometime while you're doing a shoot. <laughs> I'm down. You Jeez, let me dude. know when you have something booked that's yeah. on a Sunday, and you let me know, and I will make time. I will cancel whoever the hell I got to cancel if I got somebody to book that day <laughs> so I could get you on. So you let me know when you have something coming up, and we'll put something together, baby. <laughs> Honestly, what you doing next Sunday? Next Sunday! <laughs> Send me uh send me a Twitter DM because I gotta get to my next guest. Yeah. And let's line up a time and let's get this done, brother. Absolutely. I'm I'll, I'll let the, the person I'm knowing. She's a pretty big name too. So. Okay. Well let me know and we will get that done. I appreciate it, brother. Absolutely. I will man. talk to you Thank soon. You for having me. Thank you, brother. Appreciate you, Jiggy. Later. Yes. There he goes. Fantastic. Jordan Wright. And we are gonna go to our next guest who is gonna join us here in